Christ in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Lord, in the Lord, it's a blessed Sunday and we come your way once again with our Sunday motivational message, which is to serve as a mantra for us and to guide us throughout the week. This week, our message has been captioned, we are for signs and wonders. We are for signs and wonders. We take our scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, from the New King James Version. I read, Here am I, and the children whom the Lord has given me, we are for signs and wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts who dwells in Mount Zion. We are for signs and wonders. Beloved in the Lord, it is worth noting from the account of the prophet Isaiah that signs and wonders are supernatural occurrences or events that arises out of God's divine intervention. And by that we are saying that as people of God, as believers and as Christians who have accepted Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior, we are for signs and we are for wonders. Out of us should emanate supernatural occurrences and events which will beat human imaginations and human ideologies. And so I came here to announce to you this week, and even as you go to your classroom, know that you are for signs and you are for wonders. Even as you are in your rooms, know that you are for signs and you are for wonders. God is working something through you which will beat human imagination. Beloved in Christ, you are for signs and you are for wonders. Walk in this consciousness and know that you are for signs and you are for wonders. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me pray with you. Our Lord and Master Jesus, we thank you for this great insight into your word. Telling us that we are for signs and we are for wonders. Let this come to pass in our lives. Let us manifest it wherever we go, knowing and being sure of the fact that we are for signs and we are for wonders. May your name be praised and glorified now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Beloved, may the good Lord be with you and have a fruitful week. Amen.